I learned about sex from one of six Jennifers I knew in a split-level sunken living room pit in a flashlight circle around midnight. Before this, it had just been something that someone mentioned at a show I wasn't supposed to watch, or the parts where my mom covered my eyes in the theater when she was trying to take all of us to a movie, and it was Ryan or Laura's turn to pick, and she sighed heavy when they picked something that was PG-13, but they walked to Pocahontas four times with me earlier, so she had to be fair. Jennifer said the boy puts his hose, you know, his thing, in the girl's garden, and sometimes he wore a condom, which is a weird balloon he puts over his parts for no reason we could even think of. Jennifer said her sister's condoms were all sorts of colors, and some of them even had flavors, like gum, and we wondered if you had to blow them up to put them on. At the end, we all dared each other to kiss someone or across the circle. If you were brave, you practiced with tongue like the movie stars at the very end when they get over whatever they were mad about, and we used to go, ew. But five days before this flashlight circle during social studies, I looked across the room at John Kistart and wondered if he could kiss like that. The next day I was playing mermaids, diving for coins in the deep end, when my mom's wave face broke the tension of the water in my nose and ears. A strange, sad mix of flashcard faces for disappointed and also maybe afraid. I understand you learned some things last night, she said, slow and measured. Sure? Don't you think that maybe you should have learned those things from your mom? And maybe I should have, but with my bangs all hacked with third grade safety scissors, I didn't even know how to ask. When I was little, I didn't even care where babies came from. Moms were just pregnant, and then there was a baby. The idea that men had anything to do with it never occurred to me because I had never seen one. So instead, I sort of shrugged my shoulders and said I didn't know what she was talking about, and I dove back down to the bottom so I could feel the pressure build in my ears when I let all my breath out in slow, blub, blub, bubbles and wondered why I felt so funny when I sat up against the eyeball jet that fed water back into the pool.